Creative Mom Kamala here with Creative Mom's Decant. So today I actually have my acrylic paints out and we're going to paint a canvas, which I know is a little different, but I am so excited to show you a simple way to do a canvas painting sunset. Let's get in. Alright, so I know, a canvas painting and I'm starting on my screen, but I was really inspired by our recent vacation. And so I wanted to show you how you can use pictures, whether they're your pictures or pictures you find online, to inspire you. I know that I'm going to need this horizon and I love the water slightly coming in here. However, the waves when we were on the boat were the best, so I want to capture these kind of waves in my picture. Am I getting ambitious? Probably so. And then I also want to just show the beautiful landscape, so the foliage. All right, so now we're ready to get started. All right, so you've studied your pictures and you should be looking at the colors quite a bit. And everyone's going to need black and white. I just use um, Apple Barrel multi-surface paint. It works great for me. So black and white. And then you just have to, you know, study what's next. So for me, for the sand, it was brownish colors. I'm probably going to add some whites in there. And then my water had beautiful colors al along with the whites. And then as I get into the sky, I want bright yellow popping. And then I want some orange. I'm a sucker for orange. We all know that. But really... In the beautiful sunset is definitely oranges and a hot pink is what I kind of wanted and this is not what I would call a hot pink so I grabbed red I'm gonna add just a little red to this and see what I come up with so they are that's kind of my outline if you wanted and I think I'm going to I would add sky colors at their very top but your biggest thing is a horizon line. So I also have my paint brushes. I grabbed a set of these off of Amazon. Uh, they have all kinds of sizes in a, a multi-pack and they are not bad beginner brushes. I don't do a whole lot of painting, so I did not spend a ton on brushes, but these are of decent quality. And especially if you take good care of them. Sometimes kids get into brushes. Is that just at my house? Okay. And then I also grab these sponge brushes and they're really handy and they can be thrown away affordably. Although lots of times I do get multiple uses out of them. Canvas and my pencil. Here we go. Horizon line. I'm going to go as light as I can and I am not a light person, but I'm going to get my horizon line in here. And then I want my beach line. So my beach and my horizon line, of course, are going to meet up. And so maybe just a little bit of room where they meet up and bring this down at an angle. So this will be my water, this will be my beach, and this will be my beautiful sky. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab painter's tape. I don't want to lose that horizon line because it will ruin this project if you do. So I'm going to grab my painter's tape. I'm going to slide my canvas down just a little bit. And I'm just going to take my painter's tape and put it right along that horizon line that we drew. And I'm going to push it down. All right, now we're going to get started. I like to work from the top. Now my canvas is not going to move because it's taped down to my butcher paper. Yay me. All right, I like to work from the top down. So I'm going to start in my sky. And I want my sky to have just a little bit of blues at the top. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this blue. And yes, I'm just going to dot it right on there. And a little bit of this blue. Maybe a little bit more of it. And then, of course, I'm going to get some whites. I think this is a brand new white. Pardon me for a second. I'm going to shake it up, make sure it's all together, and then add a few markings of white. That one got a little bit thick, so 
up here also. All right, I know that white is really hard to see, but I did add it. All right, now I wanna kinda of keep my paints in the order I want just because it's important to me and it kinda of helps keep me straight. All right, I'm gonna to go to my paint palette and we're gonna work on getting this pink just a little bit more spicy. So I'm gonna do a good squirt of the pink and a small squirt of the red and then you can use silicone brushes as a fun way to stir this paint up, I think. So I'm gonna grab my silicone brush here and stir this in. Yes, that's getting a much better hot pink, which is what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my hot pink in in a few places here. We're working on getting that sun to go. The sun rays will come out of this, all right? And now I wanna add my oranges. I'm gonna clean this brush real quick. Actually, I'll just drop it in my cup. I'm used to using resin and you wanna clean brushes. All right, so let's add the orange. And I am going to decide kind of where I want my sun. I don't want that to squirt right out. One moment. Sometimes when these paints sit, you do have to um, poke them and that should be fine. Okay, and so we have to decide exactly where we want our sun. And I'm thinking mine's gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna avoid that area for a minute. And get my oranges. My oranges are gonna go all the way. Orange Beach had very pretty, true to its name, orange sunsets. And they were beautiful. I highly recommend Orange Beach. If you want more information on what we did or anything, just ask. It was so much fun. Woo! And that's a lot of yellow. So let's grab a brush and move some of that yellow around. I start with light areas because you can always add more and you want to keep your whites for the most part. All right, so we're going to go ahead and rinse this brush. I'm going to switch to this one and I'm going to grab my pencil real quick so I just don't mess it up and I'm going to pencil me a big beautiful sun there that I don't want to go over. So we wanna work these colors together now and just blend them, and I promise it's not as hard as it looks. So let's blend these colors. We definitely want the yellow down here on the bottom too. I'm gonna to grab that little more yellow. All right, here we go. And you just blend them up, and they're going to really start to look pretty, and anybody can do it. And I'm okay with that blending into my sun, but I definitely wanted to leave an area there that I didn't get that orange in because I really want it to get the bright yellow. All right, now we're gonna blend into some of these pinks. And as I blend, I move my brush around so that I can get those different colors everywhere and just blend those pinks in. And for a moment, I'm gonna stay out of my blues I'm going to hate that I taped this down, so that's got to change. <laughs> I wiggle too much. Okay, so I'm going to stay out of those blues for just a second while we blend the rest of this in. Sometimes acrylic paint does have um, like dry stuff, especially if you keep it like I do and don't use it a lot. I'll just pull that out and keep going here. All right, so we are really getting some beautiful colors in there. It's gonna need some more yellow for sure. I paint all the way to my edges. Everybody does it differently. And I wanna work that pink back into there. So I'm gonna grab my pink and I'm gonna add just a little bit more along with that red. I bet I'm gonna end up liking the two tones of this. Let's see. It's just about layering the colors in the sunset. Oh yeah, the red's gonna look awesome in there. Okay, but we don't wanna lose our other colors, so be careful not to lose color when you add color. And sometimes the easiest way to um, prevent that from happening is just give that brush a good clean, and I grabbed a washcloth. You don't wanna drip wet soapy brush, but I grabbed a washcloth. and then I dripped. That's what I get for trying to film. It came right off, we're good. 
and clean that brush up and then go back into some things. And especially where you were losing, you know, or you felt like you might be losing. And look how nicely that helps bring those oranges right back out just by cleaning my brush. All right, so I do want some of these oranges to blend into these blues, so I'm just gonna hit that line slightly with this multi-brush here, okay? And then slowly work your way up. And once you feel like you've got a nice blend, you may grab another brush so that you don't turn that into mud. So that's why I had a couple brushes out and I'm just, so far, I've only used the sponge brush. We are going to use some detail brushes. All right, keep this going. So I'm just going to go ahead and use both of these brushes here and get this side too. And then I'm going to untape my canvas because I don't want that taped anymore. So I'm going to have to wash here. I usually would not um, grab another brush, but I'm going to go ahead and use three um, so that I can get this side and finish this. And then we're going to let this dry some before we add our uh, textures to the background. So we're just going to get this side. And remember, you don't want to blend all the way, so I'm going to come this way and pull some of these colors back on my brush. And then I'll use that to get this side to blend the same. Okay, it's looking amazing. We will add lots more textures into this in just a bit. Okay, so the first issue is suns don't shine into our clouds and just stop at a straight line like our horizon, right? So we need to blend those a little more. So I'm going to start with just blue on my brush and I'm going to start just kind of blending those in and you can kind of turn your brush sideways and get some of that movement going and then you may want to switch to a smaller brush and you can use some whites and blues for this. So it's going to be a combination of both. I'm going to grab some blue and my white. And we're just going to add some little clouds and things like that up here in the sky. So little brush and I'm just going to squiggle some pretty clouds up here into this blue. They're going to turn kind of gray and you can work those out as things dry. My blue right there is not super dry but just adding some detailed clouds will definitely help break this line up. So that's what we're gonna do, and it's gonna take just a little bit to play and work that out. I really think it's pretty, so I am ready to move forward. I'm just drying my brushes. Again, I'm trying to go over the canvas, but um, you want to work with dry brushes. Very, very, very important. And we are ready to tackle that sun, or at least I am, so I hope you are too. I am going to use a fairly good sized brush, and I'm going to use red. I'm going to grab another palette here just because it's easier, and then you don't, you just, anyway, that's what I do. I'm going to grab red. I am going to grab my pink. I really wish it was a hot pink. It's not a hot enough pink. And my yellow, which is gone. Yeah, it went to the other side. See, don't do that. And a good amount of yellow. All right, so we are going to start with our red, and I'm just going to take the red. I do want to make sure this tapes down really nice. So I'm going to take the red, and I'm going to put it in the center, a little half moon shape. Same brush, I'm going to dip into the pink, and I'm going to take the pink around like a C, around that half moon shape. And back into the red and just kind of work that in until you're happy and I'm going to rinse and clean here and then we're going to grab the yellow and I'm going to work the yellow this way 
from the outside of my sun to the in. That way I don't make mud. If I worked it the other way, it would turn to mud by the time I got to the outside. See how that's blending? It, we don't want it to turn to mud. So once I get the red on my brush, I'll maybe play a little bit, but then I'm gonna rinse and start again. Whew, that sun is looking so pretty. The world was hard on me today, and so jumping into painting really helped me just chill. And I always need that. So I'm gonna keep working this yellow. You can also work it this way, and we will. Once you get enough and you think you've blended your sun to look like a sun, then you can take a clean brush again and blend it into that expanding sunrise that's coming out at you, all right? So we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna work it this way now. Just like if you were drawing a sun when you were younger, kind of work it until it blends all in, mostly staying and pulling from that yellow area. And once you really pull it good, you can pull some from the other and just keep working until they're blended and you're happy. So I look, it looks like to me, I need to blend some more yellows in. So I'm going back with a clean dry brush and I'm gonna grab some yellow and work it in and keep grabbing yellow. And I may have to clean my brush one more time to really work that yellow in. I will say with sunsets, make sure you watch your pencil lines. They easily show through. I am having to spend a little bit more time on my pencil line, but I'm getting it, but you don't wanna do that. Uh, so just be careful with that. So once you think you've got that, then it's just a matter of, again, blending your harsh lines. So clean, dry brushes, and sometimes even going back to one of these and just give it a quick run over will blend all of that in really nicely. See how that happened? It's so cool. All right, so I think we are ready to head down to the sand. And I don't know about you, but I'm gonna let this dry just a little more and hope that it was down and I didn't mess it up when I was wiggling and grab a cup of coffee. See you in a second, let's do our sand. All right, so here we go. And I knew we had a little bit of issue, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Um, and it did at least help me keep a straight line, which I am not good at at all like Nanya. So the next thing we want to do is grab a fine tip brush. So I gotta get this painter's tape off my fingers. Fine tip brush and we want our black paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another palette. I picked these up off Amazon for soup. No I didn't. These came from the Dollar Tree. These are from the Dollar Tree and it was a pack of six for a dollar. Um, I knew I got them cheap, and it was. It was a good Dollar Tree find. Black paint, fine brush, here we go. I know it seems crazy, but your horizon line for a sunset is very dark. So you're gonna wanna just grab your black paint brush and do a fine line of black right on that horizon line. We're gonna go all the way across and then I will meet you right back and we will get started on our sand. So don't forget to get your edges. I'm gonna have to, oh, I did, okay. I didn't think I got this one. I went really thin with my black line over here and I really, there's absolutely no reason. We have to have a horizon line but I'm nervous about my sand here and I was pondering why I was doing my black line, what to do with my sand line and I think I've decided, ooh, that needs shook. I've decided to do brown and I, the reason I'm nervous about that sand line is I really, really, really want to embrace those waves that were coming in. We were there with some really gorgeous big waves and so I really want to get that. So I am going to just give this a squiggle. And 
hope that that works out for me. So I guess stay tuned and find out with me. All right. So there is my sand line. And I think that I actually want to paint the water next just because it's easier to work down. We are going to need to add probably some reds and whites and yellows and blend just a hair more. I have a dark spot here, so but generally I work down. So let's get started on the water and it's gonna be dark, dark blue. So I'm gonna grab my brush here and I'm gonna take a good scoop of black and put it into this blue that I have in my mixing tray here and just get that really, really dark. And we know that this base color is right out of the bottle, so I can do that, and there should be no issues. I think I'm even a eh, little darker, so I'm gonna dip right back into my black just a bit on the end and get just a little bit darker there. And then I'm gonna just start getting it in, just like we did above, really. So throw it on and then we'll get those colors to come out in a minute. Right up to there, I'm not exactly sure again, but this is awful dark. That horizon line way in the distance would be dark. So I am going dark. All right, I am going to add a little bit of my blue over here and that will help me get texture. So I'm gonna keep my brush going, but grab this blue and work it in. And I have to keep that real dark horizon line that we made, in my opinion. You really wanna keep that beautiful straight horizon line that God has created on this in this world. Back into my blue, and I'm gonna grab some blue over here and then we have to work lighter, right? So we're going to be adding white. And all the way to the edges, I'm gonna grab that other edge, and then we're gonna grab white. And I have my beautiful blues mixed up. The water it, at, uh, in Orange Beach was actually really clear, but I don't know how you paint really clear water, so it's blue water. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get that horizon line one more time right there. And there, all right, I think that's really looking pretty back there. So we've gotta get it lighter. So we're gonna add our white, like I said, and I'm gonna go ahead and squirt it on like we did kind of in the top and a good amount. And then I'm also gonna add my blue right into it. So right on this side of it, and you could definitely go right back to a sponge brush, or if that's all you had, you could. I have this one with my colors, so I'm just going to keep going with it. All right, so you want to keep those lighter colors as you're coming down, so work up. So I'm starting in the light area and working towards my top, and when I hit my other color, I'm stopping and not worrying about what it looks like any more than that. Just stop. All right, so I have a good amount of extra paint on this canvas. And what I'm gonna do is just smooth it out. And work it into the, the other layer as waves. So we just wanna work those beautiful waves that we saw out there right in. And then you can dry your brush by bringing it down to the bottom and you really we should be holding a reflection from the sun in our water but I'm gonna cheat we're gonna get it but we're gonna do it as a top coat all right so keep going and then just work this out and if they're starting to not you know you don't quite have it dark enough that's a good sign darker is always easier but you can dip into your dark just a little and lighten it out, which is so cool. And you did good then. 
We don't want it to turn to mud, so that's where we have to stop, before mud. We mix all the colors, it turns to mud. All right, so that's looking good, and I'm gonna keep bringing these colors down. So I'm dipping back in areas that I have lots of paint and bringing them down. I am going to want to make sure I get a nice, bright shoreline, and I'll talk about how I'm gonna get that right now. So, once you've worked your paints out, you want to add lots of white to this shoreline. So I'm gonna switch hands for just a second. I would not call myself um, Androdextrous, however you say that, um, but I can pull some lines, you know, one way with my other hand, and that helps because I am working this shoreline opposite of my hand, and I want the waves to be rushing in. So I want to pull from the sand side into the ocean side. smooth it out and just keep doing that and then we're gonna grab some white all right and I am going to just put a good amount of white down this whole coast and work it in with my already blue brush And just worry about working it in right on the edge right now, just like we did with our sun. We will work the rest of that out as we go. All right, so down to that coastline. And as it comes down here, I'm brightening it up just a little bit as if we were standing right here so the water gets lighter as we went down. So definitely want to keep those whites down here at the bottom. And that's, I kept the canvas white till I got there. And now we're just going to continue to work this white out and making our waves and our coastline. Remember, if you get mud, I'm doing pretty good here this round, but if you're starting to get a gray or a muddy texture, you got to stop. The nice thing with this round is you're using two colors, so just blue and white. All right, so once you have your line, and you're happy with it. You want to blend out the rest of your ocean and just work it from that area out, just like we did the sun. I need just a little bit of black. And then I'm going to grab my brush and just swoop up all that black. And I'm going to get the black right up here again like we've been doing because I don't want to lose that horizon line. And I really want to get it back up here because I almost lost it right here. See? So I'm happy with it, but it, it's close. So I'm going to get that horizon line right back all the way to the edge. I went thin, and I don't think I should have when we did the line. But either way, if you lost your horizon line with me, just grab it back. We got this. All right. So now I'm going to, this brush is fine. There's hardly any black on it. And now I want to get into my brown. So I'm going to stay out of that black, right? And I want my darkest browns to be down here, up this side. And that was awesome. The black's starting to come in there and it's okay because it's going to blend into these blacks. So now I'm going to dab my brush off with the black that's left in there until it starts to get gray. And if it does, you stop, remember? So I'm going to rinse my brush, and then we're just going to be in browns and white from now on. All right, so browns and whites. I am going to grab my um, white, and I'm going to go ahead and start it because I know that I do not want to lose 
the lines of my waves. So I'm taking my white very thick all the way down my canvas. And I know that's a not normal. My mom's probably like shaking her head. But anyway, sorry mom, that's what I do. And then actually I have this brown over here that I can start working into my horizon line and the darkest part of my sand. And as I'm working down here, I'm going to be adding in the whites. So as my brush gets light, I'll hit this white up here and start getting my sand color, which is just going to be a really, really light brown. And back into my browns. And work my whites in for sure. Remember, whites are the hardest, so don't lose your whites. So now that this brush has been into the browns again, I'm going to stay on my brown side. I'm staying away from those whites. Whites are bad. All the way to my coastline up here. And I probably will use a small brush in a bit to blend. I might be able to, no, yeah, I got it all with this brush. You definitely can. This is working with my dominant hand. So a good way to finish it was with my dominant. All right, I'm going to grab a different brush because I really want this to go and be very white. So I'm dabbing this one out. And I'm going to go ahead and dab my sides. And for the sand, I think we are going to want to leave the dabbed look. So do you see the difference? Let me get a little bit more dabbed look and I'll show you. All right, so in the camera you can tell this is more dabbed and this is my brush strokes. We've done brush strokes pretty much this entire canvas, but the sand is going to look best if you do dabs. So I'm going to end with, with my dark color over here by dabbing it out. I want that texture which is kind of keeping the texture of the canvas. The actual canvas texture makes a really cool texture for the sand. You can also do things like add gesso uh, and that will help. And you know me, Mod Podge, you could Mod Podge and add a little bit of texture that away. So those are just some options. Uh, I am going to just brush this one out. This is just a simple. Camilla is not going to take this over the top project. It's not going to happen. I'm going to keep this simple. I really just wanted to capture that sunset. Although I may have to put some silhouette vinyl on this beach of my family. So the funny thing here, why I'm just dabbing out these colors, is I really wanted to get family pictures. My husband was 100% on board. My friend, my girlfriend was going to take them. And we should have done them on the first day. We even talked about it, but we didn't. And then we had rainy days, so it was really hard to, like, go fishing. And, of course, we were soaking wet and then try to take pictures. It would have taken... So, anyway, long story short, Camilla did not get her vacation pictures. I'm hoping that my sister, and I know she will, my sister is going to take some for us this year. I haven't even asked her yet, so... Um, but she takes awesome pictures, and I know she will, and we'll have to get it with some crops, which is right up our style, too. So I am just continuing to dab these brown and white colors together, and I think, and I might be crazy, but I think I'm going to dab in some yellow as well. So let's just see how crazy I am. So I put yellow on my brush. And I'm just going to add a few dots of the yellow and blend it in. So as soon as I get it all dabbed, not too much of my brush, but I'm, I'm going diving in with the yellow here. So, all right, so once it's off my brush, then I can kind of work these out. I think that's definitely going to give me a little bit more of a golden sand look. And I'm just going to have to work it out very carefully. So once you've worked that yellow out, I'm going to add a little bit of brown to this leftover white over here. 
and I am going to stir it in and then I'm going to work it and I really want to highlight that sun coming down right here and so that's going to be my lightest and then these darker areas through here I can work in the darks it looks like I have a little blue running in the back of my sand back here. So, yes, I sure do. So, I'm going to want to stop that. So, remember when you, you know, have an issue, rinse your brush and start again. So, I'm going to get a little bit of dark brown back here and a little bit of the brown white from here, here. And then we're going to add our touches, just the simple sun shining in the water, a few simple touches to take your painting over the top. Okay, so at this point, did you get up? Did you step away? I kind of let mine dry a little bit. It's not completely dry. And take a look at it from a different angle. So whether it's in reverse or whether it's just by standing up, make sure we do that. And be proud, first of all. I'm going to grab my black. I, I told you at the beginning, I'm horrible about losing horizon lines, and I did it. So I am going to grab my black. And get that horizon line in here and yes I just got paint all up my arm you can let me know in the comments if you're messy or if you're clean I am a very very messy crafter and baker so that horizon line definitely helped I'm gonna go ahead and with this fine tip also grab it right here and it is some of those details that do make the difference so Continue adding if you need it all the way across to do it. And then you kind of, with the same concept, continue on this. So we want to get that bright sun shining down in this water like my picture. I'm going to show you. It's my screensaver. So I really want to get this orange sun right down in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my orange that I don't have any more of. <laughs> And I'm going to work it the same way I just did, fixing that horizon line. Fine lines of orange right down here where I want that sun reflecting. So I'm going to start and just do a few little squiggles of that orange. And I like to make it into a triangle pointing down. So down here is your tip, up here is your base. And then work within that triangle. You can sometimes line the triangles up with a different point. So I have a little bit of a swirl in here and I'm just going to go with it. But mostly work in a triangle is the easiest way to get that reflection started. So with this little bitty brush, I've added, woo, little bits of paint. So, and then I'm going to take a blender brush again. So I'm just back to a dry one like this and work that both ways very lightly and just work that reflection of that sun in there and you can always add your blues or if you're getting your brush again too muddy or not what you want you just grab a clean one which apparently I don't have any I'm gonna find a clean brush oh this one is yes okay and then I'm gonna grab my blues so blue, and I'm going to work that blue into the sides of my reflection, and that's just going to help that fade away, and you can add whites too, but remember, they're much harder. All right, so now I have my little bit of reflection there, and if you wanted to go back and add any of like the same kind of an idea in your son's son, if your son needs any um, touching up, we really lost those pinks. So I'm going to grab these pinks and I'm going to blend some of those in up here just like we've done. And I'm going to keep those in this quarter. I don't want them in this and I don't want them in my sun. So grab those pinks and then again blend. Oh yes. And that, look how we got those pinks back in. And now all of a sudden I really like this pink. Yes, I 
have a little bit of mud right there. I'm just going to work it out. So if you got some, you can work it out. I just covered it with just a little bit of pink, and then I'm going to work that pink out. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to check my edges, all four edges. Don't forget that top edge. Did we get it? No, we did not. Isn't that too funny? So I'm too funny. So I just grabbed some of the blues. Luckily, I had some sitting here. And I'm going to get that top painted. Don't forget to check your edges. Silly me. How many times did I say that and I forgot one? Yeah, so check yours too, just in case. It does look like I want a little bit more of the orange over there, so I need to switch brushes. This side is looking great. It's really hard to show you that without risking knocking water and things that I do like to do when I'm live. All right, so with that, you just have to decide to be done, and I would love to have you post them in our Facebook group, Creative Moms Decant, found on Facebook, and we try to upload videos all the time. Likes and subscribes help us tremendously. I hope you have a joyful day. Thanks for painting our canvas sunset with me. Bye!